Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, welcome, I'm Kaiser and if you're not, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video. Alright guys, let's get straight into it. So today I'm going to be doing a soft glam tutorial for you guys. I've been seeing on Twitter, oh, soft glam, soft glam, soft glam, so I'm like, I want to do some soft glam too. Like, I feel like I kind of do soft glam sometimes, the only thing that can make it a bit different is my brows. My brows are not really soft glam friendly today because they're looking a bit mad, but everything else will be soft glam, does that make sense? So yes all right so i'm gonna go straight into the base we're gonna start off with foundation you know what i like we're gonna start off with my eyes first i'm gonna start off by applying butterscotch onto my eyelids so just place that all over now i'm gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge just like that i'm gonna now set that with the laura mercier translucent powder it looks like this and just pat that onto my eyelids I'm now going to go straight into the Jackie Aina by ABH palette. I'm going to take this shade right here called Ginger. I love, love, love and live for this shade. It's so beautiful and it's just literally the perfect brown shade and transition shade for any black girl, dark girl, anything. It's just so amazing. Anyone can use it though. Just going to blend that out. Now, I have a funny feeling by the end of this video, it's going to end up accidentally not turning out soft glam. But if that's the case, at least we still got a cute look, okay? So yeah, we're going to do that. I'm now going to take my Huda Beauty palette, and this is called Coral Obsessions, and just go in with this shade. Just to blend that out into my brows a bit better. Yeah, soften it up. I'm gonna take that same palette I was using, the Huda Beauty one, and go in with this shade right here. It looks so lovely. I'm just gonna apply that basically all over my eyelids. So stunning. One thing I like about Soft Glam is I feel like you don't even have to be clean with it, if that makes sense. So there doesn't have to be no harsh line of demarcation just play just be soft blend be cute just like that which you guys think and then right now what i'm going to do is go back into the anastasia palette with by jackie Aina, and i'm going to basically do like a brown smoky eyeliner effect type of thing I think you guys will get what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm talking like that still. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm taking the shade Credit. Oh, girl, that kind of worked. Okay, so guys, we're left with this. You know what? I feel like after I do a bit of concealer and stuff, it will soften up a bit more. But again, I'm gonna just end up naming this. I tried to do a soft glam and failed. But but here it's still a cute look either way i'm gonna go straight into my base i'm going to take this right here which is my nars um orgasm illuminator pull some into the back of my hand my nars natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade macau mix that into the back of my hand Okay guys, so my foundation is on. Now, my shade is out of stock everywhere, which is maple. So what I normally do is mix this shade right here, which is called Hazel Not By Too Faced Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. Put one little pump of that. So like that. And then I mix this. Like that, and just blend it together. So 
So what I'm doing right now is using my fingers to low key blend it out a little bit before I use the sponge. I don't know why, but I feel like it just sinks into your skin a tiny bit more when you do this. And I'm just going to blend the remaining out with this. Just like that guys, I'm now going to go in with my translucent powder again and just tap that underneath my eyes. Just like that, now I'm going to take my translucent powder in medium deep by Laura Mercier as well and just brush that all over my face. Just like that, I'm now going to bronze up and contour my face. I'm going to use the Hoola Toasted Benefit Bronzer, it looks like this. Just like that, I'm going to take the Revolution by Patricia Bright palette and I'm going to take this shade right here, this beautiful pink shade, and I'm going to just blush with that. I'm just going to go in with this brown shade and just go underneath that blush and just make everything blend ever so smoothly together. Now it's time for some highlighter so I want to look really nice and gold so I'm going to take this Laura Mercier face illuminator powder and this is in the shade, in the shade seduction so I'm going to just go all over my cheeks with this. Alright guys, so I'm basically finished. I'm just going to blend that out. Just make sure it melts into my skin. Alright guys, so my face is complete. What do you guys think? Actually no, not even what do you guys think. Let me just set this into place first. And then I'm going to ask what you guys think after I've put some lashes on and really done these edges because they're looking a bit crusty. So let's set the face now. And I'm just going to set my face using the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 Replenishing hope I'm saying it right replenishing primer and setting spray just gonna just drowse my face in that and then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier flawless skin perfecting water moisture mist as well shake that up test it out and then spray on my face Alright guys, just like that, while I let the setting spray set in, I'm going to go in straight with some lashes. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Olivia number 18 lashes. 
so yeah i'm just gonna put that on all right guys so just like this i'm just going to now apply my dual addict ultra pink lip gloss All right, guys, so this is the look complete. I really think I kind of did okay. At first, I was a bit scared, but I think now that the look is complete, it really pulled in well together, and I think it's kind of soft glam. Like, let me know. Do you think it's soft glam? Do you not think it's soft glam? I kind of do. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Make sure you share with your friends and family. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification button so you're always alert when I upload a new video and you never miss miss upload because I know you don't want to do that so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye friends